Hello, this is an overview tutorial of XBRL Analyst. XBRL Analyst is an add-in that delivers real-time financial data to Excel. In this video, we will look at the different features and tools provided by XBRL Analyst. After installing XBRL Analyst, there will be a new tab available on the ribbon. The first thing we must do is connect to the database by pressing the Connect XBRL Analyst button. Now that we are connected, we can look at the three main methods that XBRL Analyst provides for interacting with financial data. First, there is the Financial Explorer. This allows us to drill into the details of reports submitted by individual companies. There is a list of companies, which can be filtered by industry classification, market index, as well as searched using this text box here. For each company, there is a small chart showing the company's recent revenue and earnings for quick review. By clicking the XBRL Reports tab, we can see a list of the selected company's XBRL reports, indicating the type of report, year, period, and period end date. There is a list of statements for the current report, a list of normalized statements based on our normalized concepts, and a list of all the XBRL tags used in the filing that can be easily filtered or searched. We also have an HTML button that will open the original HTML report for review. The SEC Filings tab will take us to a list of all reports filed to the SEC for the selected company. We can view any of these reports or use the search feature to find reports containing interesting phrases. This will give a list of filings that contain the search terms and we can quickly view the matching text from any of these filings. If we go back to the list of statements and double click on one of them, it will open the document viewer. From here, we can view the statement and easily drag data into our spreadsheet. Using these toggles, we can see more technical details about the data, such as the XBRL tag, balance, or whether a negated label was used. We can also export the entire report into the spreadsheet by selecting All, and then clicking Values. If we are later looking at the spreadsheet and forget where any of these values have come from, we can use the Trace to Report feature, which will open the document viewer and take us back to the original context of the data. The second method we're going to look at is report generation. This is useful for getting large sets of data and comparing different companies. To build a report, click the Compare Companies button. This will bring up a list of different companies, which we can search and also filter by industry. We'll add all companies from this industry and look at data from each company's 2013 fiscal year. Next, we select the financial facts to use in the report. We have here a list of normalizations that we provide, and you can use your own definitions here as well. We'll select a few basic facts for this report. We can also use XBRL tags. Finally, we can select different styles of report. We currently offer three different styles, and we'll use the first one here. Here we see the report as generated. There will be some missing data, for instance, some companies may not have reported anything in 2013. If we want to update this report to a different period, all we have to do is select it and press the Update Comps Table button on the ribbon. Then we can select a new period, the 2014 fiscal year, click OK, and the report will be updated to the new period. 
We can also select the Recent option to get each company's most recent data. Experial Analyst can also generate a historical report, which is similar to what we have just seen, but shows how the values change over multiple periods. For more information about XBRL Analyst or to download a free trial, please visit us at findynamics.com. Thanks for watching.